We are just about an hour and a half from the polls closing across Pennsylvania, and Pennsylvania will play a key role in determining the future of Congress. Stacy and political editor John Delano are looking at that. Guys? Susan, thanks. To say that the midterm elections this year are important would be an understatement, but they seem to be always important, especially in recent history. In 2006, both the House and the Senate switched from being in the Republican control to the Democratic control. In 2010, the Democrats were in control, but they lost the House. It was the biggest defeat for the House of Representatives for a particular party since the Great Depression. So now we are in 2014, and the Republicans picked up the Senate. Now, 2018 is where we are right now. It's crucial. And Western Pennsylvania, as Susan said, plays a major role in all of this, John. Yeah, no doubt about it. There are 435 members of the House, as you can see right here. Pennsylvania has 18 members of Congress. Republicans have 12 of those 18 right now. Democrats hope after this evening is over that this number is 9 to 9. Now, to find out whether we are in play as far as the Democrats picking up any seats, these are the congressional districts for Western Pennsylvania. We'll make note of number 18, Congressional District 18. Nothing is going to change there. The incumbent, uh, Mike Doyle, is running unopposed. Right. And, le and let me just add, the 15th and the 13th districts, Republicans very much likely to win. All right, so those look like very safe seats. That leaves us with three more, the 14th, the 17th, and the 16th. Let's take a look at the 14th first. Yeah. All of these, by the way, are new congressional districts. So what's happening here? Well, the 14th district, as you'll see in a second, is a race between Democrat Bibiana Borio and Republican Guy Reschenthaler. Neither one is a member of Congress, so there's going to be a brand new congressman representing Westmoreland County, Washington County, Fayette County, and Greene County. This is a Republican district voted for Donald Trump by 28 points. Reschenthaler ought to win it, but you never know. You never know about that. So that then now leads us to the 17th. And if you haven't been watching TV, then you don't know <laughs> anything about it. But if you've been watching TV, you've seen ad after ad after ad for both of these congressmen. We it's, say both congressmen because they're both incumbents. Yeah, it's the only race in the nation between two incumbent congressmen. They're spending millions of dollars. Connor Lamb, the Democrat, is thought to have the edge, although there's been some indication, at least among Republicans, that Keith Rothfuss is pulling up. And maybe we'll see who comes out to vote and which one of them wins. But it's a key race. Democrats really need to win this seat. This is seen as to offset the other race, which, of course, is the 14th, because Connor Lamb uh, is already a congressman. So it's, if he wins, it's not a pickup for them. It's not really a pickup. It offsets the, f the fact that Guy Reschenthaler is likely to win in the 14th district. All right. So if we have the situation now where the 14th is probably going to go Republican, we don't know about the 17th, but if Connor Lamb wins, it doesn't change the dynamics right. of, of, of the House of Representatives. But this race... We've got to go to the last slide. Yep, there it is. Right there. there we go. This is the race in the 16th district. Stretches from Butler all the way up to Erie. Incumbent Congressman Republican Mike Kelly challenged by Democrat Ron Nicola. This election is really, really a toss-up. And the Democrats are hoping that Nicola can pull this out. This is one of the races they're really hoping to win. Mike Kelly, he's a tough incumbent. We'll see what happens. So when we boil it down as far as Western Pennsylvania goes, the Democrats hope to pick up at least one, possibly two from this area. And for them to switch it to that 9-9, nine to nine, they're going to have to pick up some districts in the eastern part of the state. And they will. They will definitely pick up districts in the east, perhaps as many as three, four, five. Who knows? This is going to be an exciting election night. The road to control for the Democrats in the U.S. House of Representatives one, runs right through the Keystone State. And so we're going to be watching all these elections later tonight. And to later tonight, we'll have the results for you. Susan? All right, Stacy and John, thanks so much. And KDKA is your home for election night coverage. Beginning tonight at 8, CBS News will have wall-to-wall -wall coverage of key races across the country. KDKA will have live and local updates throughout the night, including an election night wrap-up on KDKA TV News at 11.